Hello viewers, it's Sentai Michael from Screw Review, bringing you a new podcast of my stuff called the Super Sentai Review. And like always, I'm going to speak very loudly, very clearly, and very slowly, in case you don't understand me. Also, I tried my best not to breach your heart during this audio podcast recording as well, and not to cause any audio feedback as well. And finally, if you're under 18, this audio podcast recording will attain to adult language. Once again, if you're under 18, this audio podcast recording will attain to adult language. If you're under 18. Now, if you're over 18, then you get to watch this audio podcast recording. So anyway, with this and everything else out the way, let's get into the latest episode of a boom, a boom a Boulanger. So basically, this episode starts off like this. We see, we see Detroit, Tasha, and Yaya outside a dino, outside a museum for a dinosaur exhibit. So basically, they got an idea, maybe for their next monster. So basically, there's going to, so basically, they saw the saw outside that that they're going to display some a new dinosaur fossil. So basically, they figured. Maybe we can turn that into a or into a monster to use against against the Rangers. So anyway, so basically, you know, somewhere, somewhere off the somewhere in the museum in the loading dock, we see the people offloading the fossil, and basically, Toss, you know, Detroit uh, managed to get the hold of the fossil, and Toss used her powers to to turn the fossil into a monster, and basically, her. Uh, and basically, things started to uh, start to go south from there. So basically, lucky for lucky for uh, lucky for the people who 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 was uploading the fossil, Officer Joe was nearby, but you know, looked like he was off duty. So basically, but lucky for them, Officer Joe showed up on the scene, you know, and it's, you know, on his off duty and whatnot, and basically, you know, and saw this uh, and saw this fossil monster looks like a looks like a like a psych te- uh, uh, you know, like a you know, uh, 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 a psych teratops, uh, like a psych teratops and whatnot, and basically, you know, you know, a triceratops running, a triceratops. So basically, the fossil was based on some type of psych te- uh, a species, a psych teratops and whatnot, and basically, you know, the monster just seemed to just kept on saying fossil, fossil, fossil. It wasn't unlike the other monsters, unlike the other other monsters that that been created. Usually, usually they either have either have a limited vocabulary or or a a or a but larger vocabulary, but it kept on saying fossil, fossil, and basically, you know, we see, we see Tyre, Shino, and, and Middle showed up, and basically back to Officer Joe and whatnot, and basically, you know, they all morphed, and basically, they were about to, they were about to battle the, uh, battle with the, uh, battle with the dinosaur monster, but, the dinosaur fossil monster, but the monster didn't really get much, and basically, like, you know, it's just stand there for minute and basically a charge mm-hmm. it didn't really try to attack the Rangers it just ran past them and just ran away and basically you know ta- uh, so basically the Rangers were like you know okay that's kind of that's kind of odd for 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 uh, for uh, for all of the monster by the hockey aliens just to run away for uh, run away for a fight and basically you know ta- uh, you know Tasha Tasha betrayed and Yaya was like you know what the hell happened well, you know it, 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 you know they felt like you know the monster the monster they felt like you know they had the perfect monster to take on the Rangers and you just ran away from them. So anyway, turns out the um, turns out that person who is in charge of the fossil said that it's on Tiger is a species of the uh, Triceratops called the Sim uh, called the Simosaurus and basically it was supposed to be a part of our big our big our big dinosaur uh, uh, you know uh, and, you know exhibit for the museum. So basically you know the way to say that don't worry don't worry we'll 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 get your fossil back and whatnot. And so basically the Rangers 
to made a promise to the to the to the to the person who was in charge of the exhibit and the fossil to bring it back, and you know, etc. So basically, they look around for the for the fossil dinosaur monster, and basically, so far they struck out out of no luck. So basically, they couldn't find the monster anyway until Officer Joe. Until Joe found him, you know, found the dinosaur monster hiding, uh, hiding uh, near a bus somewhere, somewhere, some maintenance, like a maintenance shed or something like that. And basically, you know, she like the officer Joe, she like you know, noticed that the, the the monster seemed to be scared of humans, especially especially you know, uh, uh, seems like the monster is very scared of people. So basically, you know, officer Joe. Tw- Try to approach the monster, you know, calmly, and that's when his morpher, you know, that's when Boom Boom co- contacted him on his morpher and basically, uh, and for you know, and forced the dinosaur monster to run off scared from Joe. But Joe managed to trap it down, and he realized the monster is not a threat, you know, is a gentle. If this monster is a gentle creature or whatnot, and basically, you know, obviously Joe was like, you know was wondering, you know, I should tell the others about this, but no, what do I do, do, but, you know, seeing that this monster is not a threat, but no, we can't, we can't know for sure, and basically, that's when Gimma showed up, and basically, Gimma was like, hmm, Gimma was informed about the situation that's going on, and basically, Gimma said that, you know, here, take these keys, this is, this is a key to our warehouse, you know, you could st- you could stash your dinosaur monster there, so basically, like, you know, Gimma, like, you know, Gimma realized that the that the monster is no threat. It it basically is a friendly monster or whatnot. And basically, you know, it's like you know, gate, you know, told tell her there's a warehouse nearby. You could stash in there and, and until 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 you figure out what you, and until we figure out what you're gonna do with it. So basically, you know, so basically, Officer Joe went to the warehouse and took the monster with him, you know, and bought some food to feed the monster and whatnot. And basically, you know, you know, basically, you know, Gimba told the uh, tell Tyre, uh, Tyre and the other rangers about the uh, about you know Officer Joe's whereabouts and whatnot with the monster and whatnot. So basically, like you know. Like Joe, Joe, I understand. I, uh, uh, you know, give him a the situation. So basically, you do you think that the do you think this monster is not a threat to anybody? You know, and basically, uh, uh, basically Joe said, no, this monster had perfect opportunity to attack people. Why, why it ran away from the museum? But so far, so far, it seems that this monster is mm-hmm. is harmless. So basically, like you know, well. Well, 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 but just to make sure I will stay with the monster overnight and basically, and basically to make sure it doesn't, you know, attack anything, you know, I, I will take care of it myself. So basically, like, you know, Ty was like, you know, oh, I did, oh, it's your, it's your call. So basically, the other one is like, you know, hmm, the other one is like, Sessie Shino was like, you know, hmm, I know you, I know this is, I know this is, you know, you, this is you leave it up to Joe to deal with the monster, but still, if that monster does in the attacking, does in the attacking people, you know, we could be on the hook as well. And, and you know, and plus, Joe, Joe is seen to bond with the monster as well. So, basically, do you think that Joe could, you know, take out the monster as after he befriended it? And basically, Tyre is like, you know, this, uh, you know, this, uh, this, you know, turn it back from Chino and basically just, you know, not answering him that question and just saying, let's just see how things play out. So basically, Joe stayed with the monster overnight, keeping an eye on it. And basically, the next morning, you know, and he was about to go out to get some more food. And basically, that's when, that's when Detroit, Yaya, and Tasha showed up. And basically, like, you know, we want our monster back. And basically, you know, they, they was looking for their monster. And basically, they want it back. You know, they want to make, you know, they want it, want it back. And basically, you know, and basically, Joe was, it, it was ended up fighting, fighting Tasha and uh, Tasha and the other hockey aliens and, and the foot soldiers. And basically, you know, see that 
like you got another the dental monster, you know, try it's best to fight back. Try to help Joe fight back, but you know, the numbers game, the numbers game just uh, got the best of him until the other one just showed up and basically, you know, and basically, and basically, you know, help, help even the odds out. So basically, you know, Tasha, Tasha, uh, so basically Tasha, you trade and Yaya make more foot shows, and, and that's when we see Cannibal, so uh, you know, standing on. Standing on a standing on a roof on the building watching the fight and basically like hmm it's time to do uh, and figure that hmm that monster needs a little upgrade from uh, uh, for my new device so basically you know Kenneth had his staff and basically he uses staff to turn the monster into evil and basically and basically the dinosaur monster started to attack start to attack people and whatnot you know so basically you know Kenneth said like hmm let's check out my new let's Test out my new let let test out my new scepter device on that dinosaur monster. So basically, the dinosaur monster, you know, turned evil and basically started to attack the rangers. And Joe is like, you know, what the hell happened? What you did to it? And basically, you know, Tasha, 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 and the other and the others realized that you know, Cannibal must have done something to it to make it more make it more evil and want to attack people now. So basically, like you know, Joe tried to stop the stop the monster, tried to stop his dinosaur monster pal from you know to, from hurting the other rangers, but. But he ended up getting beat up and you know and forced to do more and and all of a sudden the dinosaur monster starts to grow just like that from uh, from, uh, from the power of uh, a cannibal's device. So basically, it turns out that cannibal you know set the device also can make um, it can it can also it also had a nasty side effect to make all of to make monsters grow as well without without Yaya's help. So anyway, the monster went so basically the dinosaur monster went on the rampage. Joe saw the carnage that the monster did and saw that saw all the saw the people getting hurt and whatnot. And basically, like you know, you know, and he said my my job is the opposite is to always to attack people. So basically, like you know, Joe said this is all my fault so basically you know i'll be the one who kicked down the monster so basically boom boom shut up with the with the with the with the with the, with the, with the, with the sorry sword and the marine sword the fafari sword and the marine sword and they and it combined with boom boom and formed the monster boom on your megazord and basically joe with was mainly probably the you know, Boom Boom's monster Megazord form, and basically, you know, you know, even though he did hesitate it, but he, but with the help, with the help of the other Rangers working together, and the help of the Boom Boom monster Megazord, you know, he was able to take down the, take down his, you know, his monster uh, dinosaur friend, and basically, basically, you know, the. Basically, once the monster was destroyed, the fossil was, you know, the fossil was, was turned back to normal or whatnot. The monster, the monster, when the monster got destroyed, you know, the fossil turned back to normal and whatnot. And Joe makes sure that, you know, makes sure that the fossil was turned to the museum, you know, in its officer outfit and whatnot. The curator, gank, gank, gank officer Joe and the others, you know, gank officer Joe for returning the fossil to the museum and whatnot. So anyway, outside, you know, outside, we see the girl looking at the, looking at the sign for the museum. Of the dinosaur, uh, of the for the dinosaur exhibit that they're going to have at the museum, and the other rangers, you know, showed up and saw, you know, to check on Officer Joe, and Officer Joe, you know, started to have a, you know, flashbacks, you know, at the time he spent with the dinosaur, with the dinosaur monster that he called Silky and whatnot, and basically, you know, the other rangers, you know, he smiled on the good times, you know, and realized he he did the right thing, and basically the others saw his smile, and basically this how the episode ended on this note. So anyway.
So anyway, this was a good episode. I like episodes like this when, you know, when rangers, you know, when when rangers become friends with monsters who are not violent, you know, and they basically tell, and basically, you know, they have no choice but to end up destroying that monster, you know, for a reason. So basically, I really love episodes like this. So anyway, this was a good episode. This was a good episode. So anyway, what do you guys think about this episode? Please let me know in the comments below. Anyway, signing off from Screen Reviews. One.